Hey y'all, it's your girl Charvon. It's Sappy. Hey Ty's here, and this is Relatable versus Debatable. All right, so I got my two hosts here in the building with me. Oh, I thought you was gonna call us some hoes. <laughs> okay, I was never. I, would I was like, wait I a ever. minute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and get today started. So in, in today's society, we as individuals love to experience the authenticity of other cultures around the world. Yes, no, maybe so. I love Thai food. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'm a, a little spicy for sword. me. <laughs> <laughs> I like <the> spicy. <laughs> but nah, but sometimes we gain our experiences through traveling to other countries or whatever we may do with our friends, you know. But uh, for those who are a little bit more finicky about their finances. You know, I know that would be me, <laughs> but we all have our friends from other countries that can help us understand and live through some of these cultural experiences in which we desire. All right. So, for instance, any of you ever been to Chinatown to experience the Asian culture? Oh, yeah. Oh, Especially Chinatown in D.C. You know, <laughs> I drove through there real quick. Yeah, I've been getting drunk in there all the time, oh, bro. They got the Bar Louie up there, the right, Bowling right. Alley, all that. All right. So, we got that. Any of y'all ever, you know, celebrate Cinco de Mayo, tacos and tequila, wearing your sombreros all, at, the, at, at the crib? <laughs> the last Cinco de Mayo I had, I was... I, I do the tacos and tequila, but I'm not about to wear a sombrero, you know. All right. Well, today we are going to be talking about cultural appropriation versus cultural appreciation. Mm-hmm. Tell me what y'all better. think about that. I think that there is a difference between cultural appropriation and cultural appreciation. There's a very fine line between yeah. cultural appropriation and cultural appreciation. It's a appreciation. thin line between fries and shapes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I'm weak. <laughs> <laughs> but to appreciate something, you kind of take it as face value. And you're just like, oh, wow, that's a beautiful tradition you guys celebrate. That's something that great that you guys do. Like you still honor it. Yeah. yeah. And you honor where it came from. Mm-hmm. You understand the meaning behind it. You're digging deep into it to appropriate something is to like see something that somebody else did like oh i'm gonna do that and take it as and own. take it and just run with it yeah never give any credit to who did oh, you talking before. about like the white people did when they came over to go oh, <laughs> talk <yeah>. about appropriation <laughs> you want to talk about race <laughs> Woo. that's Quote, unquote, gonna, Columbus yeah. Day. yeah they definitely appropriated the hell out of america because i don't know <laughs> Just wanted to make sure we was all on the same page. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and also, there's a benefit factor from that. If you're taking something from another culture and you're able to monetarily benefit yeah. from it, uh, clout benefit, any of those types of things, you're still benefiting from it when other cultures have been told for so long that you what they're doing that, is yeah. wrong mm-hmm. or... It's not professional. Yeah, or yeah. it doesn't look right. But for somebody of a different race to take it... And be able to run with it and benefit off of it. Like be on the runway oh, with that's it. That's appropriation. That's dead per- appropriation. Okay, so we want to talk about that. What are some ways that you think in America, and I'm, I'm going to say America right now, or within the pop culture, that, you know, things have been appropriated. We're going to say appropriated and not appreciated. We'll probably get to some things that are appreciated, but what are some things that you think are appropriated What's in America? One? Hair. Yeah. Absolutely. Black hair. Hair, mm, hair, beauty, black beauty, beauty, period. Yeah, the whole like nine of that. Because if you think about it for so long, so long in the eighties, the seventies, the sixties, the fifties, the fifties, the they were told Slavery. that black features were not okay. You can't be, you can't have a big booty, you can't have big, big lips, lips. Yeah. you can't, you can't do this. Now it's big be, booties everywhere. Now everybody want to be black. Take everybody go to Doctor Miami <laughs> like, give me one of those. <laughs> Give me a BBL. It's a, a Brazilian butt lift. Just give like, me a black ass. That's why all I want. Why is that called a Brazilian butt lift? Because they don't want to acknowledge that black people did it. They don't want what? any given to black people. I'm they want to appropriate that. them. Why is it called a Brazilian butt lift? But, mm, well, I guess because they have Afro-Brazilians. Nah, but I feel like that's still Give Afro. me a big mama butt lift. Because, you know, everybody's <laughs> big mama got a fat old ass. Like, big God. mama. <laughs> I'm dead. A big mama butt lift. Uh-huh. Big mama. <laughs> My arm. No, I, like 
hair for so long black women were told that your hair was not professional wearing cornrows to this wearing, day or we still to are this told day. This. yeah Niggas like, gotta make it laws. professional <laughs> The Crown Act. They, oh yeah, I forget the Crown. They just passed they that last year. They gotta make laws right? so you can accept our hairstyles on us. Because don't get me wrong, <laughs> I see some white girls with some box braids, and their hair falls out along the way. And they be getting so mad. I remember this one TikTok, and she was like, "How do I take these down?" And she was like, "Oh, you gotta cut them out. You gotta cut all your hair off." And, and Shorty cut her hair off, and she was so bad at that girl. She was like. Oh, well, she should have done she's research. black, and she was black, and the girl was white, and she was like, "Oh, you know, cultural appropriation." She should, she, if she was way. appreciating it, she'd have known. <laughs> she would have known. She, Had she appreciated that black hairstyle. But nah, she wanted to appropriate. <laughs> so that it? that black girl did her due diligence. <laughs> she said, if "This what you you gonna pretend?" All right, I'm about to pretend so to it. Worse, I, like, I only had it in up. for like three days. Oh no! So, but I I just think. Having our hair, t- having people tell us that our hair isn't professional, but you know, the next day we look on the cover of Vogue and we have someone not of African descent with straight backs and they're calling it boxer braids oh and they're God. like, this is the new, all the new the rage. Derek uh, the Bo Derek. The Bo And oh I'm like, but wait. But the crazy part about that is. It's like gentrification for hair. That is but really. That's exactly what it but is. But the crazy part about that is, too, they'll flip the script and say that black women have been culturally appropriating hair for ages with weaves and stuff like yeah. that. But the the reason we're putting these weaves it's on because is because we're told our hair yeah, not professional. wasn't professional. Absolutely. So what do you want from us? Like like, yeah, that's like. I, that's probably a counter attack because they're trying to make our our points invalid. Oh, always. of course, yeah. you already know Every that's time. what it is. They just gotta get a reason for their BS. But mm. I, if you're monetizing off of how we look, and but we're not getting the credit for it, look, I feel like how for years it's, it's though, the same thing for, for years. For centuries, what do you mean? It's so, Things that are crazy. It's like, oh, your butt's but too big to be crazy. a dancer. It's this, the, that makes you it's crazy. It's the same thing with black men and selling weed. Oh, we, we sell weed and we go to jail. Now the white man said, all right, we're going to put some laws on it and we're going to take over the weed industry and then now it's acceptable and you can do it wherever you want. And they have Ooh, yet to free right. the people that went to jail for, for doing that exactly what Or doing. even let the people who are currently selling weed selling go up again. or move up in the world. Like, like black people still selling weed the same way. I, my plug ain't changed. Me, I don't know give about me a y'all. Like, give me them a special zip like that. Easy, by the way. Can you imagine if a black per, a black man decided to make a franchise out of a weed business? Man, yes, I can imagine because I know so many people trying to do it. And every and time, every time they get that roadblock, they get something. So it's high, always but something. When that, when that white man do it, it's, it ain't it's no good. issues. Oh, you got to pay. You got to pay. And you know, we, we haven't built generations. All right, let, let, let's not get off topic. Because that could be, <laughs> that's a, that that's be that's something else. Man, Goodness gracious. That is crazy. But there is a lot of, you know, a cultural appropriation that does go on. And it it can go both ways. But... When it comes to like beauty, what's for me is the black face or what y'all call tanning. T- no, black. Because what is what do they call it? Black, black fishing, fishing. Black fishing. Where they they'll be like, oh, this person is this person black or white, and they end up being white with just a really dark tan. And it's but like, I feel I, I'm t- like the tan has to be like borderline skin cancer because there is no way you can be pale as a a, a piece of paper and then two months later you're taking a picture on on you're looking like donald trump yeah, man no not even, not not even. Trump. like you're it's matching my skin tone oh, yes. yes you really be black black and yes. people are arguing in their comments like if you go on these people who are you know labeled as black fishing if you go under their instagram comments they're like is she black or is she white like if i have to i scroll, gotta see a picture of this black fish if line i have to scroll, this. Who over like name? two years of pictures just to find a white version of you oh, that's a problem damn. so it's like reverse michael jackson don't yeah do that. <laughs> and that's another thing that i don't know it goes both ways for it because i mean black people are bleaching too that's exactly what they their arguments always are their arguments are always that this ain't the same girl yes it is same girl this is that's her a young exactly that's a problem that exactly i'm sorry <laughs> i'm not racist i i cannot date a white woman wow. i just that's not my preference uh-huh. that is not my preference looking at her before picture i, I wouldn't date her 
looking at her after picture, you she would have got all this business. <laughs> <laughs> all of it. Never know. All of and that you business. Never know. And I would have never known. That was she looked a little weird. But. They they it, they do this and then they post them on like Twitter and stuff like that and they're like, is it black or is it white? Like, what is it? And it'll be so many people. It was a lot going on in, like, I think it was, like, Greenland or Iceland. Mm -hmm. And it was, like, all white people that nobody knew they were white. And they just had all these black features. Man, it just made me wonder, though, man, when they fill out them job applications, what <laughs> they, they check. other. What do they check? <laughs> oh, of course they put white. I got, I got to know. Of course they They'll try to be black, but then when it's convenient, be like, oh, I'm white. Well, look nah, at those, keep that same energy. Well, look at those professors that are just now coming out saying that I am not... Exactly. You got your Rachel Dozels. You there got, was a, a whole. She, she uh, claimed that she American was Afro Latina, mm -hmm. and she was a professor of African American studies. I can't remember the university right now. And she just came out and said that I have no African in me at all. I was just lying. Man, even like would, right. even Elizabeth Warren claimed she was it's like one tenth Native yeah. American. Like, deuces. This is it's the craziest thing when you think about. What people will do to get paid. Yeah. And so when they start doing it to get paid in places where we're not paid, mm -hmm. it's like, wait a minute, you're getting paid for being something that you're not. Mm -hmm. But I am that and I can't and get that. Can't and get that's the appropriation. Yes, it's yes. like, why can't I receive the same treatment you get Absolutely. for faking when I'm actually out here doing it? Like, mm -hmm. it, it's just crazy to me. Especially when it comes to like, you know, pop culture. Oh, don't get me started. Don't get me started when it comes to pop culture. I feel like pop culture is what makes cultural appropriation even bigger. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It was it it, it's does. put on a magnifying glass at mm -hmm. that point. Because everybody want to be like the black people when it comes to the pop culture. But it's not now, only just black wait, people. Wait, wait, wait. Now. For the most part, I feel like. Now. Because if you think about pop culture, it's just basically referencing things that are popular in media. Uh -huh. And being black wasn't always popular in media. Yes. But now it is. Well, I feel like because black people are coming into terms like we're okay with who we are. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And be, now because we're okay, other people But people like, are seeing that joy. Yeah. They're like, I want to be a part of that. But the, right. that's nah, you wasn't a part of when we you was in our ass with. Shooting in the gym. That but I think that's where the cultural the appropriation and the cultural appreciation comes in. Because if you're coming in and you're like, oh, I want what you have, I feel like that's the appropriation. You can stand on the side and root. Big facts. You know what I'm saying? You can do that cultural appreciation, like, I see you, queen, do you, but I'm here on the side. The crazy part about that is, is so many people rooting now just because they like us, our culture, so much. Mm -hmm. Like, they don't. They didn't care about us as a people. They yeah. didn't care about so, that. So, but it's like... In a sense, it's like, who's faking? Man. It's like... Now it's like... You it's don't a know. trend, though. Support yeah, is that's a what, trend. That's what I'm saying. Support so, it's like, who's faking? You don't know if somebody really being, a, like, appreciative of your culture or if they are appropriating it by pretending. Exactly. So, it's like... it's You, you really can't tell. I mean, you can tell sometimes because some people, when they be trying to touch my hair, oh my god, they get mad <laughs> when you tell them no, no, like, like get offended, like, but it's it's just like a dog. I want to pet it, bitch. I want to pet you. Let's go. <laughs> let's let's fight. Like, so let me ask this though: the people who want to touch your hair, yes, they're white. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Yes, they're white. <laughs> so now, what happens? <laughs> But what happens when you might have a sister who come up to you? Y'all, let me let me touch your head. But you would think a sister would be like, she would know what's up. You would think that I she would know what's up. I have never experienced that. But if I... Ex I have. I've done that before. You, if I you've see, asked to touch somebody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But it's not nine times out of ten. It's going to be I'm going to tell, tell y'all. And I hope the people who I have touched don't get offended. It's like if I see it crunchy or something, I'm like, can I touch your hair? Oh, <laughs> no, you try to touch their hair because they got crunchy roots. I'm that, you know what I'm saying? If you put too much gel, I'm like, can wow. I touch your hair? Real quick? Oh, you want to see if it's hard. Yeah, like, when you, you touch know how the curls it, like, you want to knock. Yeah. I'm going to hit them with one of <laughs> I'll be doing it to be like, ooh, I'm so intrigued. I just want to be like, does it look as crunchy as it? Oh, does it feel it as crunchy, crunchy as, as it looks? looks. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I don't touch other people's hair. Mostly because I don't know your life. Like, How and being in the work hair? environment, I realize that people do not clean up like they should that be. They so, <laughs> I'm not about to touch your hair because I don't know what's going on. But... White people love touching hair. But personally, if I tell you no, nine times out of ten, I'm not telling you no because I just don't want you touching my hair. 
personally, I put grease in my hair. I put oils. I put coconut oil, a little jojoba oil, and a little avocado oil. Oh, okay. And I'm trying to be courteous to you. Like, do you yeah, want lotion? Yeah, because then they're going to be like, it's so oily. It's so oily. Why right. don't you wash your hair every day? Because and it's you, not good for And then me. you have to explain yourself. And I don't feel like explaining my hair to you. Exactly. Because you don't understand. Google. Man, y'all bringing back high school memories. Because <laughs> at this point, I, I don't even know. But it's like, even in pop culture, when you see people... Ooh, that whole Nicki Minaj versus Cardi B thing. I feel like they were saying she was appropriating in her culture, but Cardi B is black. Like Cardi B is black, but she's also She's Dominican, but Yeah, so I mean, but then that's like a whole nother that's thing. That's a whole conversation. Like, it's like well, what what is what Dominican? Like yeah. it's like you'll half have and your, half. You'll like, have your black people who will be I'm sorry, you'll have your your black Exotics. Sorry, Let's no. go with black exotics. Black exotics. <laughs> Homegrowns are the Americans. Black <laughs> exotics. You'll have your different black exotics who will claim to the death that they are not, not black. black yeah. But knowing their culture, you know they're black. Like, how do you share an island with Haiti and nobody's black? I'm Dominican. No, you're mm-hmm. black. Like, y'all yeah. literally on the same joint. Like, literally, I could just jump over the fence. Like, that's it. Like, I'm not jump over the fence. <laughs> but for real. <laughs> It's not a fence, y'all. It's, it's open land. So what about so in in, in the hip hop or the pop culture? What about these? Man, I don't even know like these rap these rappers. I'm I'm gonna say the women rappers. Well, no, we can even speak on on the uh, male rappers as well. You know the the white male rappers, mm. but they kind of you know take on some of or a lot of the imagery of the what black people kind of brought to the hip hop or the the pop music mm-hmm. community you know whether it's the the flashy jewelry mm-hmm. uh the way they rock the hair the tattoos whatever the case may be with the ladies yep you know the weaves mm-hmm. i don't i don't know the sew-ins you know what i'm saying i know a little something a little wet and wavy no nah, i'm but, uh, <laughs> not the wet and wavy <laughs> You know, get you some of that Malaysian. ATPs we use. Not the get some of that Malaysian in there. Oh, my God. But, but, yeah, so, like, how, what do y'all think about, like, because I don't even know all the the white rappers, you know what I'm saying? Drake, he light-skinned. That's my favorite rapper, but, you know, he ain't white. I'm saying, Drake? Little, little Drake? Creole. He stole my whole flow, bar for bar. <laughs> but nah, so what, what do y'all still, think? I think that still goes to the cultural appropriation versus cultural appreciation. Yeah. Because you can have a certain persona, but it isn't stealing someone else's persona. Like, if this is your influence and mm-hmm. you are giving homage to it, that's different. Then you taking somebody's entire flow, you're taking somebody's entire, like, I guess persona, but you're not a hood person. You ain't grew, you grew yeah. up in the suburbs, but you talk about all day. I, I kill people. I shoot, and I, I well, did. Well, black yeah. people be what's, appropriating what's, on black culture. Well, you know what? So let me ask this question. So we're going to bring up Drake. Some people, some people would say... Man, what is Drake gonna be this time? Is is he is he is he Jamaican today? Is he from the UK today? Mm-hmm. Is he Canadian today? He could be both. So is the question: Can people uh, appropriate their own culture? See, the thing is, Canada is such a petri dish. Of it is. People. It's a it's yeah. melting pot. Like a cornucopia. They say America is a melting pot, but you know. <laughs> It's, it's not. Like, it's not. But Canada is, literally has so many different people. Mm-hmm. So that is part of Drake's culture is all of those things. Like, so, he's so he's all definitely of those things paying, constantly. Uh, how many, or, but so, think, so he, he put his team on his Because he has the artist in his song as well. And so if he had a B, he did a, you know, a little controller. Mm-hmm. And then he had Beanie Man in that song. Yeah. Right? So mm-hmm. and then he, was it Beanie Man? Yeah. Nah. He was at the end. Okay. So, <laughs> so giving that person a platform while, I guess, technically, that is cultural appreciation. Yeah, absolutely. I would say it's appreciation, but people love to I say, say, oh, Drake, he do this. He be stealing people's songs. He, he I mean, he still people's Don't get me wrong. All right. So that's a whole nother <laughs> that's thing. That's across the board. <laughs> now, he, that, but he not say, taking their culture. They'll say, like, he's stealing people's identity and then trying to make it his you own. Know, and yeah. then I try to explain to people, like, no, he's not. He's paying homage. He is. It just so happens He's really great at what he does. That he'll do it and create some fire. Yeah, and, and then it's just like people think, oh, he's taking over. No, he's he's not. Because he never and, said and that he was trying to be right. like the head of reggae. But or then he like. always recognize he 
always recognizes the artist. You know, the artist and the and then he might even give music him one album. But after that, <laughs> but I also think there's <laughs> also the people that support that artist. So let's say there's an artist who you know all of a sudden today is like, hey, I'm a rap. Have no rap influences or you know just decided today I'm trying to rap. They come out with one album and all of a sudden they win a Grammy. Over the people who this is this is their this is their niche. So would you say it's something like um, what's are what's, you better what's, what's the you? what's the dude who did that panda song? I get oh, bros in the designer. lab. So would you say it's like a designer slash future thing? Because everybody thought that nigga was future when he came. Oh up. yeah. Yeah, he, he was hot for like two songs, sounding like future. The but I feel like and then he disappeared. He yeah, I think Flo isn't like stealing anybody's because it's you not. have different influences. Man, I don't know. Well, no, I'm not yeah. even saying his flow. It was more he so was like his sound flow. overall. His but he, he, sound. he talked like he slow too, so. I don't know. <laughs> it is just the way he yeah, talks. I feel like that's how he talks. Everybody's influenced by somebody. Something, yeah. You can't just, especially if you're going into something, you're always researching it. So but if it's you're. It's like if you never get away from it, if you never get away from that person you're influenced by, and you always sound like that person. How, what's the point where it's person. like okay nigga this is no longer cultural appreciation it's you're a, appropriate in me right when now when you start making more money that's the point but I feel like if you're making money period yeah, yeah. Nah, I don't know you don't think so? I don't know if you're making money period cause if you think about it it's so many people who are influenced by Biggie and yeah, so many yeah. people might make money off of that, a lot of people but they not making Biggie. more money than Biggie was. Like once you get on that level and you start making more money than Biggie was, sounding exactly like Biggie, that's appropriation. Like you're taking completely over. So you you guys are talking about designer and future. What if it was like someone of a different race? And that's that's the thing. So it's so just, when did it, when does it become when does it leave cultural appreciation and go to cultural appropriation? I think with, you just gotta think races? about yeah where these people came from. So Eminem, when Eminem did it, I feel like it wasn't cultural appropriation because he's from there. He lived that. Yeah. He was doing that it as was a hobby his culture. before. That was that's his, his culture. culture. Yeah. But when you think about people like Macklemore and stuff, and they grew up in the suburbs, they hadn't been exposed to rap. They probably watched Eight Mile, and then they was like, "Ooh, I want to do this!" Like hey, that big fact. That's though. kind and of and the fact that that man won a Grammy <laughs> over for Kendrick best rap album Lamar. Over Kendrick Lamar and Kendrick. Lyricist, and Kendrick really Lamar. lived that life. Like he didn't live that life. Kendrick is a lyricist, and this man did pop and tag Lamar, and he won uh, the. Best this nigga was talking about thrift shopping. Like, what the fuck? Like, I, I just can't. I don't know. But I, I think at that point you get, you start to get into your bad babies and stuff like that. Don't get me wrong. There are people who are in the culture who cannot rap. I'm gonna just go out there with that. Yeah. There's definitely black people who can't rap. Mm-hmm. Uh, but when you start to appropriate a culture that you never were a part of and profit off of that culture more than that, mm-hmm. then it is what it is. Like. What's that dude's name? Jack Harlow. He made the What's Poppin' oh, what's song. Poppin'? Mm-hmm. I don't think that's appropriation because he let you guys know who he was From since the, jump, the beginning. Yeah. People found out. They found out he was white. He was like, who do you think was on my album cover? Like, all of this <laughs> right. stuff. Like, you get into the Tina Marie's and stuff like that. They're doing like, yeah, so what They're doing those? what they have to do yeah. based on their surroundings. Mm-hmm. They appreciate the culture before they started it. But... You start getting into people who like, oh, I'm going to live this life. I'm going to be this person. I'm going to say this. I'm going to do this and never been a part of that. And they like, Mm -hmm. like Shorty was on Dr. Phil. What's her name? Danielle Bagogi or something like that. Oh, that Catch Me Outside girl? Yeah. Yeah. She was on Dr. Phil. Her parents were like, I don't know why she's she's turning out like this. this. She's (laughs) never been like this. And now all of a sudden, Catch Me Outside, have it it. Have it it. And and she's going to be this person that she wasn't raised being. What was crazy about what you're saying, y'all, have y'all ever seen the, um, the John B. Unsung. Yes. Yes. It's, it's funny when I think about that because I guess I black. never I never realized John B. was but, white. Yeah. I thought But you know, was just black. like how people think about John B., they also think of the dude that did, I bet you one day yeah. I've been. What's that? Uh, What's Danny it? Cowell. Something. Bobby. Oh, Bobby Caldwell. Bobby Caldwell. Hold on. He not black? <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> that, and, the thing, and his album cover was just like a silhouette because they were trying to push him onto the black community. And Same right, with and, Tina Marie. And, Same and with that, Tina Marie. But see, and, and stuff like that, I definitely never knew. But it's like, you know, I know Tina Marie struggled with it. You know what I'm saying? But like watching the John B. Unsung, it was just crazy to me because 
like it's like he has to prove himself mm-hmm. because his voice is so soulful yes. and so you know quote unquote black mm-hmm. it's like he he feels like why do I have to explain the fact that, that like this is, this my, is voice. my voice yeah and this is my voice because of where I come from I'm I've experienced some of the things that a lot of the black people have experienced in the culture who can who can sing and give that yeah, feeling it's not true black well, I'm sorry. Not, no 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 don't no, 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 no I'm not saying like to to that extent mm-hmm, yeah but it's like he he grew up like he grew up in in some bad parts of. California. Mm-hmm. He had to struggle. I mean, yeah, his family was white, but it's like now I mean everything was peaches and roses mm-hmm. either, you know what I'm saying? But you know, and I just thought peaches it was... and roses without a side of police brutality. <laughs> <laughs> Big fact. <laughs> That's all it was. But no, nah, so I just, I just I just thought that was interesting because you could look at John B and be like, oh, that's definitely just like with Eminem. That's definitely for in his case is definitely not it's, cultural uh, mm-hmm. appropriation. That's his culture. Um, mm-hmm. it, that's just who he is. You know what I'm saying? So it's like we we gotta recognize um, where people come from. But the thing is, we also don't always know people's past. You that's know, true. and that's the unfortunate part to not be able to know. And then we make these assumptions of oh, well you don't know or. You, you ain't grow up like that or you're not from here and it's but just like, like a little bit so know. what do you guys think about the people who police culture so if I see Ooh. somebody on social media let's say I see a girl with super long nails and multicolors and see, all see the things. nails is it for me because sometimes I might say something because I'm black mm-hmm. and I've had nails mm-hmm. and you know just in the past you know <laughs> very long nails short nails all nails mm-hmm. and I get so much flack for being black and having Everybody nails, nails yeah. but you come out and you get a Khloe Kardashian, Kim Kardashian. They got the nails. Y'all not calling them ratchet. Mm-hmm. Y'all not calling them ghetto. Mm-hmm. Oh, your nails are different. Your nails are. When unique. I saw it on the runway, that I was like <laughs> what, what I was this? like, but wait, FloJo been doing this before oh. any of this, and, and y'all was going in ghetto. on her. Yeah. Y'all was saying it was cheating because she was slicing the air with the na- what. You like said what? Exact. That's what I'm saying. It's so many they just qualifications black women. for things that black people do. And then when white people do them, it's okay. Well, I don't understand why we're getting all this black. Because we've had to qualify for these. We've right. had to fight for these. Mm-hmm. You just came in, stole the whole flow, and just kept moving. Like, and thought it was sweet. And thought we was good. Like, what is that? Okay, so playing devil's advocate, do you think black people can appropriate the culture i think absolutely yes and no because we can we have but it's unlikely it it. it's unlikely though because our culture is dope oh my gosh <laughs> we would have to benefit <laughs> off of it and then also there's a difference between cultural appropriation and cultural exchange and yeah. that's a thing too Ooh. but but the reality is like charvon said we would have to benefit off of it and i mean let's be real Ain't no other cultures letting us benefit off, off of anything. nothing. We can't so even benefit off our own stuff. Yeah, so it's really, it's really kind of hard because, like she said, we can't benefit off our own stuff, and that's the stuff that most people stealing. <laughs> so it's just like, so we got to look like for we, something we else. We can. Don't get me wrong. We can. However, I would say I would argue that it's a lot harder for for us to culturally appropriate than it is for other cultures. Exactly. Absolutely. So what about movies? Ooh, Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> <laughs> she can play anything, Child. apparently. And she done play Asian people, black people, white people. I don't know. Like, but I think it happens a lot in movies. It does, it's, definitely. Man. I mean, stemming back from, like, Breakfast at Tiffany's, and they had a whole white man playing an Asian dude. And not even, like, the character was just, like, mildly Asian. I mean, they no, slanted the man's the eyes, eggs. had him, like, doing, like, outrageous Asian characteristics. It was very, it was very, racist. very discriminatory, <laughs> very stereotypical, very racist. But if it's for a movie, is it is it really though? Yes, because there's so many people who could play those parts, and you choose to ignore so them you, because they are not white. His character is an Asian, like his character is a the race is Asian, but you get a white person to play an Asian person, change his features to look Asian, and you tell me you cannot, or you no change Asian the whole story and make it seem like it's something that is not. Like when it came to guys of Egypt. Why are the gods of Egypt white? white. Wh- where is Egypt? Just, you know, as a geography question. Where is Egypt at? In Africa. Okay. Africans weren't white. Like, they don't tend to be white, especially back say, in the day. There are white Africans, though. That's the thing. Now, because but of they colonization. Yeah. They, they weren't there before. Like, they came there, took over in, you know, Fair South enough. Africa. Well, there is an argument like with, I don't remember her name. She's a white lady. And she is South African. 
So they were saying, would she be considered African American? It's not Naomi Campbell. I think it is Naomi Campbell. Not Naomi Campbell. She's black. Naomi Watts? One of them. They were saying that the one that used to be married to Tom Cruise. Oh, um, Siri? No. <laughs> no, that's his daughter. Yeah. Um, what's Katie her name? Holmes? Sorry, no. Yeah. It, no, Katie the other Holmes. One, I don't know. Nicole Kidman. Who? So they were saying that. Nicole Kidman. Oh, yeah, my God. They were saying that she, because she is South African, she would be considered African American. Good luck with that. I mean, most <laughs> times now they ask, they'll be like, are you African American? Are you black? Or black. Like, yeah. Yeah. So like I, they I have mean, a difference yeah. between the ethnicity and the, you know. And the color of your skin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, I would she be considered African American? Technically, she would be. Considered I mean. If her ancestors were from Africa. But she, her family migrated. Or so, immigrated. she would be considered European African. I guess. Before they came to the America, right? Sure. <laughs> so or was her family taken from America and then uh, raped by these white men? I'm sorry. Like, Ooh, child. Okay, that that's another thing. Anyway, anyway, so back to the Because I'm considered. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, you can see it all the time. Like, white people getting roles that were meant for so black people. Come, yeah. Or it's like, you see, and this is a different form of cultural appropriation, but you see like, ooh, I don't want to talk about this. So yeah, yeah. this was on Twitter, y'all, and they were talking about how black men can be black in movies and black women have to be light skinned in movies. Mm-hmm. And it happens a lot. And it's like, you know, there's actresses out there who are great for those roles, mm-hmm. but they don't get those roles because of the color of their skin. Mm-hmm. And I think that's a form of... Well, that's that's just being, like, movies in general. or But that we have to think about movies as a whole. Mm-hmm. It's coming from a very racist place. Yeah. Like, we can't put these expectations on a, you know, a, a thing that's profited so many years off of excluding black people. I would say black filmmakers are just now coming. Like, Oscar's coming so white, this, things like space, that. Yeah, They're so. just now realizing that maybe this hasn't been a good thing for us to do these whole years, like all these years. And it's still not helping anything. <laughs> like, I think it just becomes far fetched when, uh, prime example, when Halle Bailey was chosen as the new Ariel. Oh, yeah. For and they the started live going action. in. You think that was far fetched? No. No, no, no. I'm oh. saying that people the were reaction. It far, the reaction for it was very far fetched because mm-hmm. the character is fake. Yeah, it's right. a mermaid. y'all mad that a mermaid but they is were black. Saying that Ariel can't be black. She can't be bl- like it was a hashtag. shorty can't change from a mermaid to a human right. either. Like this but is not complaining life. about like, that, right? Like you complaining about the color of her skin. Lobsters can't talk and play xylophones underwater. I remember one person was like, because of the salt combination and the not access I'm to sorry. sunlight. So they got scientific should, for why she should be white and it, not black. Exactly. Like what sense does that make? But it's like sounds like a double standard. To me. <laughs> ding ding ding! Oh Lord Jesus! Message. <laughs> I just, I just, it's, it doesn't make sense to me because if we try to gatekeep, it's a problem. But when mm-hmm. other people do it, it's like, no, no, no! I understand what you're saying, but how is it possible for us to allow people to take our culture and people tell us, "Don't get mad." That's not the way you think is not the way it is. Literally, we were being paraded around in human circuses <laughs> for our bodies that now people are buying to have. Like that's the craziest thing. And it's not like this happened yeah. 300 years ago. This stuff was happening in less than 100 years ago. Like that's the craziest part. Like y'all always say get over it, get over it, but it's like how this is a part of who we are like you guys are saying we shouldn't look a certain way and then we start looking a different way and now y'all want to look the way we used to look right. like what is happening that's crazy gentrification of the bodies man <laughs> it's, it's i would say that about everything like everything be gentrified it really does <laughs> i mean this whole world is gentrifying itself all over again it really is all right good people so We hope y'all enjoyed this whole conversation that we had on cultural appropriation versus cultural appreciation. All right. Think about it. Talk about it with your friends. Talk about it to yourself. Do your own research. Let us know what you think in the comments of these videos. Boom. Siobhan closes out. Cuffing season is upon us. Draft day is over and preseason is done. So today's tip is going to be a relationship one. Always be your piece before you can be somebody else's piece. 
And just remember, No Shave November is not for everyone.